Um, uh, w welcome to a yet another exclusive interview by Pack Passion. Uh, we're very fortunate here today to have uh, the player who was known as the Asian Bradman of his time. In a career which spanned some 18 years, uh, he averaged a healthy 45, including 12 tests and uh, seven one-day international centuries. It's a great, great pleasure and honor to have with us here today, uh, Zahir Abbas. Thank you very much for speaking with us today, Zahir. Um, let's start off with some uh, questions about your career first. Um, you played in the uh, Pakistan-India series in uh, 1978. Uh, can you tell us about the experience and the, the pressures that you felt in that series and any special moments that you had? Well, actually, to play against India is always a special moment, you know. And we started our uh, test... Uh, um, yeah, uh, we started playing against India after 17 to 18 years mm -hmm. and the uh, uh, public was fully charged uh, all the cricketers were fully charged and that was really a good game to play against them and uh, they were very happy to play against us also uh, but in that series when they came uh, over to Pakistan Pakistan really played very very well mm -hmm. and uh, we got them beat uh, by by, by, I mean, I don't know by how many runs, but uh, so we won the series against uh, India. Mm -hmm. And that was a great, that was the great moment, mm -hmm. which uh, every Pakistani enjoyed. Mm -hmm. oh, obviously, would have been. How, how were the expectations prior to that series, and the pressure, obviously, of a, of such a, a big series within the players and yourself, and how did you handle that pressure? Actually, it was a really very. Uh, Difficult series, if you ask me. Uh, they were here for uh, for five weeks. Indian cricket team was here for five weeks. Mm -hmm. But uh, believe you me, I could not sleep the whole day, <laughs> the whole night also. But day and night. But but my body used to lie at one place when I went, uh, when I used to sleep. <laughs> my mind was working how how I'm going to play Indian spinners. And mm -hmm. I tell you what, it was a, a tense uh, series for all of us, and especially for me, mm -hmm. because we have to prove ourselves that uh, you know we can play, uh, we can play much better against India, and the whole Pakistan was expecting that uh, the same thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, people were really happy after that series, and uh, and uh, uh, and after that they uh, they, came, uh, they keep on coming for a few years, and later on it stopped again. Yeah, uh, unfortunately. But definitely, there was a lot of pressure for all of us, mm -hmm. all the cricketers, and mm -hmm. uh, everybody wanted to show uh, their best performance uh, which they can produce against uh, India. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, over the course of your career, have you got a, a favorite uh, test innings that uh, that you always remember? And any reason for that? Yeah, actually, I scored when I scored my double hundred at Lahore. Mm -hmm. That was my hundred hundred. Ah, yep, yeah, that's in right. First class cricket, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. And that was not just hundred. Uh, 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 I mean, that wasn't. Just only one hundred. I scored two hundred and thirty all runs. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, that was a uh, milestone for any for any player to complete his hundred hundred. Mm, I, I believe yourself and uh, at that time, I think was Jeff Boycott were the only two players to have ever ever completed that milestone. That so that must have been a very uh, high achievement, obviously. In my regime, okay, you can tell uh, Jeffrey Bycott and uh, Vivian Richard, he also scored 100 100. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. the, same, and the same amount of uh, matches uh, which we both of us played and uh, we got 100 100. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same. Uh, so many innings, you know, six, some, yeah. 600 and some innings, you know. Mm -hmm. and they've also scored same amount of innings also. Mm -hmm. And uh, you you played uh, I can't remember how many one day internationals. Obviously you you came you you you. Yeah, you I played I, I played about seventy or or some or sixty nine or seventy. I'm not sure yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, but um, but how? The average was about forty 
That's right. Yep. Um. So, how, how any any favorite innings within those one day international innings that you'd like to share with us? Well, uh, actually, uh, against India, I scored three consecutive uh, ODI centuries. Okay. And uh, it was a great moment for me. No doubt, I was in in form and I mm-hmm. was scoring runs. I didn't uh, I didn't score my wicket away while I was scoring runs. So I thought it's the best time to keep on scoring. You never know mm-hmm. when you will be out of form. <laughs> so I keep on batting for long, long time. Mm-hmm. And um and obviously you faced some great bowlers in in, in your career. Um. Uh, who who among them would you uh, classify as the the most difficult that you you've ever faced? Well, I must say that Indian, all the Indian spinners they were all world class. Mm-hmm. Bishan Delhi, Pasan, Chandra Chaika, you know, yep. the Travi one, you just name it. You know, all of them are there. I get them, and then um, then Dennis Lilly, uh, Andy Roberts. Mm-hmm. Malcolm Marshall. Yeah. Mm, and so many others from Australia, Billy Thompson. Mm. And you know all these players. Uh, yeah. If you play against them, you know you have to be very careful. Mm. In the. Uh, uh, yep. Sorry. Go ahead. Carry on. Carry uh, on. Carry on. I was going to. Uh, you you mentioned some of the West Indian quicks. So we were. What what was so special about uh, Malcolm, Malcolm Marshall or Andy Roberts and and, and them? And they were really genuinely fast. One of they used to come up to you and they used to hit your body mm-hmm. as well as uh, taking wickets also. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, if you're not careful and if you're not quick enough to play against them, then obviously you you bound to go to to hospital. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, and and I'll, I tell you what, it was a great experience playing against them. Yeah, I, I must say, yeah, um, probably a terrifying one as well. Um, obviously, you had a lot of. Oh, of course, of course, terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously, you had a lot of uh, top uh, bowlers in Pakistan as well. Uh, which which uh, bowlers uh, s- stick out in your memory as as the top ones when at around the time that you played? Wasim Akram, Imran Khan, Nasrat Dawal. And Vakar Yunus, mm-hmm. all of all of them were great. Yeah, no doubt about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and and in terms of spinners, the Pakistan had yeah, Abdul Qadir was a great spinner. Mm-hmm. And uh, no doubt, um, I mean, um, again, uh, although I didn't play with uh, with him or against him. Mm-hmm. But he was a very good spinner. Mm-hmm. Of spinner, mm. he introduced uh, Dusra. You know, uh, yep. Dusra. Uh, you know that ball which uh, doesn't turn and goes straight. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yep. That's what we call Dusra ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sachin introduced uh, that delivery actually. Yeah, it, and it. I guess it's a legacy of. Uh, what Pakistani cricket can produce to, to the to the, to the cricketing world, I guess, uh, some that sort of stuff. Um, of course, yeah. Um, and uh, what about uh, in terms of captaincy? So you 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 played under uh, Imran Khan and Jawed Mindad both. Uh, is that is that correct? Yeah. Uh, well, which which what's the dif- what were the main differences between the two? If, if I was you... also I was also the captain of other country also. Okay. Yep. Uh, how, how was your experience as captain, and, and and when you were a player under Imran or Javed Miandad? Can you just expand on that a little bit? Well, actually, those days, those days, our team used to be very, very good, and uh, and you know that uh, Imran was a great fighter. Mm-hmm. Being a, being a bowler, you have a different uh, attitude mm-hmm. towards the game. Yeah. But being a being a batsman, you have a different attitude, you know, mm-hmm. and especially. Especially if you have fast bowlers with you, genuinely fast and world-class bowlers, mm. then obviously a batsman uh, captain, you know, yeah, he becomes uh, also erratic. And uh, what uh, what, I, what I mean to say erratic means, you know, that his attitude changes mm-hmm. because his team is so good, you know, yeah, and. Uh, he feels uh, 